Okay, whisper, start listening for commands. Would you look at that? What I really, really found interesting about this is that it picks up sounds. Okay, now I am not messing around. I'm not kidding. This picks up sounds. Hmm. And there you go, guys. There you have it. Whisper running a hundred percent offline. Hello there, my gorgeous friends on the internet. Welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be talking about Whisper and essentially Whisper is an open source project by Open AI. And if you want to learn about Whisper, I'm going to put um, the link to the repo down in the, in the description below. Essentially what Whisper is, it's pretty much a general purpose speech recognition model. And um, it is trained on a large data set of diverse audio. And it's also a like multitasking model that can perform multilingual speeches. And this is really an amazing project. Now, this project is built in Python. You can see here 100% Python. Honestly, I have tried the Python, like the Python library and all of that. And it sounds amazing, honestly. It really is amazing. But my problem with the Python version is that it's really slow for inferencing, actually. And which brings me to Whisper CPP. Shout out to this guy who is working on Whisper um, CPP. I'm not sure how I can pronounce his name. Um, Jor Jogi, Jogi, Jogi. I'm, I'm sorry if I'm bullying your name, buddy. Thank you so much for what you're building. Um, for those of you who will use Llama, there's also Llama C CPP here where you can, you know, you can easily quantize your large language models here and like pretty easy, straightforward and stuff like that. But that is not the objective of this video. So I'm going to talk about this project. And this is a very interesting project because um, this is pretty much a part of OpenAI's um, Whisper model in C and Sleep C++. And essentially is what I like about this one is it's really, really fast. And when I mean fast, it's blazing fast, like no jokes. I have been looking into this project. I am thinking of probably inter integrating this project into Jarvis for the speech to text. Um, recognition because right now we are using um, speech recognition library from Python and it's really really not that good so I've been looking forward to probably integrating something like this this is really an amazing project guys you should check this out now a quick overview of what um, whisper is like I mentioned earlier you don't need to pay for this this is completely free 100% free by OpenAI. Of course, I know some people use the API version, which you can um, get your transcriptions from the OpenAI servers. But again, you don't need all of this. You don't need to pay to actually do this. So in this video, we are going to be doing this on our computer. Yes, that's right. We're going to be working on that locally installing it locally like downloading it locally and running locally and you know um, run a test so we're gonna head straight forward to the installation and we're gonna go to this link right here I'm gonna put this link down in the in the description of this video so you can find it easily and we're gonna head straight forward to the readme and if you look if you look at this this is really really amazing you can run it on iOS Android Linux WebAssembly, Docker, Raspberry Pi. It's really, really amazing. Mac OS, which is where we're going to be running um, it on today. Uh, we're going to be running on ARM um, M1 chip. 
Apple Silicon, and we have a couple of demos here and all of that. Essentially, we are gonna be trying it out today. So first things first, quick start, we're gonna be cloning the repository, right? We're gonna clone the repository here, git clone, that's right. So we're gonna wait for it to clone the repository and then we're gonna like open the repository and work, work with it. Now, if we just downloaded the repository, I'm gonna head straight forward to opening in VS Code here. Um, bear with me. I'm gonna stretch out here a little bit. So once we download the project, we have all of these files that it comes with and don't be intimidated, okay? This is, you don't need to understand everything that's on here because for the sake of this tutorial, for the sake of this video or for what you're trying to do, you don't actually need to understand all what is going on on here. So what we are gonna do is we are gonna follow his steps right here. After downloading that, we're gonna download the model. And essentially what this model is, you know, for the transcription to take place, there needs to be some sort of model. This is like, like the brain, you know, like that's actually what does the transcription. So we need to download this model for us to be able to do the transcription. And again, he said here, then download um, one of the whisper models and convert to GGML format, for example. Let's, we're just going to go with the base model here. So we're gonna download the base model. Oops, before downloading the base model, we're gonna, okay, sorry about that. Before downloading the base model, we have to CD into Whisper, and then we need to um, paste the command here, and then it's gonna download the base model to our computer. So while that is downloading, I'm gonna explain a couple of things here. Now, I was mentioning about the models, so you don't necessarily have to use the base model. Generally, I honestly think the base model or the, the default small model, English model is really good. Like you don't need the huge model. So here, here is the documentation. Again, I'm gonna put the link to all of this down in the description below where you can check it out by yourself. So here are the available models. We have the tiny model, um, tiny English model, base model, base English model, small model, until the large model. You can see the sizes here are not actually that huge, you know. And in most, ca in most, most cases, I realize that the base model is actually pretty impressive. Like you don't need to get the large, huge model quantized um, version. Um, yeah, that's just pretty much about it. So we're still downloading here. We're downloading the base model. Again, we are downloading that into our models folder. So if you come here, um, this is it here. While it's not yet done downloading, this is, this is it here as a bean file. So it's downloading that to our computer. Now we just gonna have to wait here. I'm gonna pause the video and once it's done downloading, um, I'm gonna play it again. We're even, we're even almost done downloading, by the way. I'm just gonna pause the video. All right, nice. I don't even know why I paused the video, but <laughs> there we go. Now, after downloading, the model has been downloaded and we have it down on our computer right here. So for us to, you know, for simplicity, I'm gonna be running here in the default um, VS Code um, terminal for, you know, for ease so we can all see what we're doing here. Um, let me just increase this a little bit here. So we're gonna have, we're, we're gonna do two things here, okay? The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build, right? So now we have downloaded the model successfully and right here we have our model here. It's a bean file like I mentioned earlier, you can open it. And after downloading that really quick, you just need to build the project with the command make, okay? You hit make and you hit enter and it's gonna build the project, right? You you hit that command in the root directory and it's gonna build the project itself. So I'm gonna pause this and when it's done, we're gonna resume. Amazing, amazing. So we are done building 
and after building you're pretty much ready to go out of the box so all you need to do is um there are two things um the folders which we're gonna be working with we're gonna be working with examples when we go into examples here we have server in the server folder here you can start up run up a local server which does the um transcribing and returns like the text pretty easy um easy peasy lemon squeezy and here we have the command here so this is what we're going to be working with today so the reason i wanted to present the commands part really like the reason i'm trying to focus on this part is because currently we are thinking of integrating whisper for better text um speech to text into jarvis so we're gonna we're gonna try it out together here um, i'm gonna clear this real quick and before we try that i'm gonna run the default one which is um what the example that he gives that we can try it out so we're gonna hit um right here we're gonna say dot main and then tab so it's transcribing right here so we can see like um log so what model it's using and then here we have the transcription here and what i really like about this is the fact that it gives us timestamps and this is really really amazing again you can achieve this with the python library from openai but guys just look at how fast this was in a couple of seconds i was able to transcribe an audio and this is what it says and so my fellow americans ask not what your country can do for you ask what you can do for your country now after doing this this is this we know it works we're gonna head straight forward to the command so we need to make command to make that available of course so we're gonna build command and after building it um we're gonna have it here right so if you look here after running this command you should have something like this here again guys i'm not i'm not a c plus plus um coder um I'm a Python lover instead. Like, I don't do C++, so bear with me here. Now, after running that command, you can pretty much, that's just pretty much about it. You just hit dot slash command, and then you hit enter. And that's it. Right now, you have the devices here. These are my devices. And you see it's transcribing what I'm saying out of the box. If I keep quiet and I don't speak, it's not going to transcribe. It's just going to be listening. It's This is kind of like um, like Google Home, you know, like you, 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 you put like, an, like a wake up word, a wake up word, you know, look at this. I'm going to stop this real quick. Oopsie, no, not now. So I just wanted to stop that real quick before I, before we try another thing here. And what I want us to try, what I really, really found interesting about this is that it picks up sounds. Okay, now I am not messing around. I'm not kidding. This picks up sounds. And what I mean by sounds is if you clap, if like... If you do sounds, it knows what kind of sounds you're doing. So we're going to try that real quick. What was the command again? Hit stop. Bear with me here. Okay, whisper. Start listening for commands. Would you look at that? <laughs> no way.
And there you go, guys. There you have it. Whisper running 100% offline. This is really, really amazing. And I don't know about you, but I see the potential here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate you coming back here, back with us, watching our videos. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down there. Please do as it helps us grow our channel and it helps us reach um, a lot more people. I mean, of course, the liking helps us reach a lot more people. Now, um, that's it. Pretty much about it.